WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and currently we've got most of the indices trading to the upside. The only one that is not is the semiconductor index. It's flat. It's off five bucks. The Dow is up 755. The S&P 71, Nasdaq 167. Russell's up 56. Trendy's up 474. That's nearly three percent to the upside. Gold's back four dollars. Silver down 21 cents. Light sweet crude up two dollars and eighty pennies. The first thing that we're going to start with here is going to be the market breadth for the. S&P 500. And uh, this is going to, you're looking at the dials in the upper right hand side. You'll see right now that the weekly, daily, the 240 and the 60 are all set into bullish mode. In order to be in bearish mode, you'd have to be in the red zone out here. For example, we'll take a look at the daily time frame chart here. I'll go ahead and expand this out. And you can see the crossover that has exist that, that has formed out here. Now when we go take a look at the S&P 500. We can just look at the SPY and in a few moments out here. That formed a bottom or is forming a bottom right now. It's giving you a confirmed bottoming pattern with a, a bull sash candle. So you, you've got the market breadth uh, crossover here and it's for all four of those time frames. This suggests that the S&P 500 wants to move higher. From a SPY standpoint, that level is about the 463 level. And that's how both on the daily and the weekly, the weekly had turned, oh, it, it, it had never turned. So this morning, uh, when I looked at this, the weekly was in a negative territory, a negative crossover. Now you've got 154 instruments for the S&P above the top, their weekly profile, 97 below. So intermediate term time frame, uh, this is still in all out bullish mode. That is the S&P 500. Now that is not the same situation for the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ 100. You can see that it for the weekly, daily, and even the 240 minute chart are still in the red zone out there. I'm not referring to the red zone of football. I'm referring to the red zone of, uh, oh boy. Now, let's go take a look at, uh, I don't even know what the red zone of oh boy looks like, but it does say be careful is really what Stevie was trying to say. But let's go take a look at our ETF charts out here. So in the case of the Qs, what you can see is price has pulled back and tested its breakout level of support at 379.31. Even though the Qs don't have a bottoming pattern, the NASDAQ Composite does, it has a Gartley or TD9 count pattern, I believe. Here, what we should see is the Qs go target 393.85. That is the center of its bullish structured profile. But just a counter trend rally, that's likely where the Qs run out of energy. Folks, all the time we've got, but stay tuned. Two more great hours left. David White's up next. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home from 3 to 4. I'll be back with you tomorrow, 1 o'clock sharp. Have a magical, magnificent Monday, folks. Thanks so much for joining us.